Are you serious? Are you serious? Don't tell me we're having a, a grasshopper apocalypse. What is that? Are you serious? What? Yes, a grasshopper apocalypse is going on in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Are you Serious. Here's a report now from AccuWeather. Oh, no. Albuquerque residents are scrambling as millions of grasshoppers invade the New Mexico City. Experts say the invasion is possibly due to the mild winter and recent rainstorms. People are left wondering how to get rid of the grasshoppers that are affecting their quality of life. An entomologist who also works for a pest control company says that they will be gone with time and asks people not to overuse pesticides. Thankfully, Albuquerque has had a few dry days and had above average temperatures. Above be average? of these innocent insects and hop to the conclusion that you should be watchful of them and move them outdoors if you do see them. For AccuWeather.com, I'm Molly Cochran. You should hop to the conclusion that you're... That, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a grasshopper apocalypse. Are you serious? Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now... I know the Bible does talk about plagues, and we know locusts is one of the plagues that hit Egypt, just absolutely consumed everything. But a bunch of thousands, and I've seen pictures, I've seen video of it, folks, walls filled with grass, grasshoppers hopping. I mean, we're talking, there was a guy standing in his backyard, and I mean grasshoppers, we're talking hundreds, if not a thousand grasshoppers all at once, just hopping everywhere, getting in into everything. So it is serious. Seriously, it's a pestilence. It's a plague. Now it's not some. You know, I mean, look, they they're going to get past it. I guess. I guess. But we're you know here we go again. I mean, we we're constantly seeing these apocalyptic signs, like they're harbingers of more dreadful, sorrowful, woeful things. The Bible says, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. You're going to see more and more and more of this kind of stuff taking place. And uh, they are, they're harbingers. It's really what they are. They're just warnings. They're not the actual, uh, maybe, event it specifically mentions in the Bible, but they are harbingers. They are apocalyptic signs of the end times. And certainly, this world is in trouble. Are you in trouble too? Or do you have Jesus Christ in your life? You know, right here's the cross. And Jesus gave his life on the cross to save mankind, fallen humanity from his sins by just simply believing upon the name of Jesus. The power, you know, Paul said, the preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness, and to us that are saved, well, it's it's the power of God. So, uh, anyway, as you're hopping along today, if you're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm praying for you. Uh, and uh, think about it. When you see all those out there, when you if you're watching this right now from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you and you walk out and you see these, of course you see them. You're, they're everywhere. Think about it. A harbinger warning by God. The time is running out. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.